Zach and Fatima need help with young Michael, so that they decide to hire some. But is that a good idea? What's good, y'all? Sugar Sister Erica Vane coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another sister's video. And in this one, we're going to unpack if Zach and Fatima just hired the nanny from hell. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about it because I was really off put by the entire setup of the whole conversation as well as the scene that we got to see with them interviewing potential nannies and then hiring potential nannies there was to me a little bit too much comedy placed within those scenes for Michael to be a non-verbal maybe autistic um developmentally developmentally delayed child that needs additional support both physically and mentally for Zach and Fatima to be interviewing people and yes spotlighting some people who are just completely unprepared but there's a part in a moment where Fatima's like oh you have absolutely no experience but I actually like you so I'm a yeah and it's like girl this person has no experience with children like Michael who have no background in education no nothing and you're fully going to consider this person being one of the main pillars in this child's life because you value Michael so much like, let's be for real. There's a part in the in the scene, in the montage that they show where Zach completely checks out. He's like, I don't even care no more. We've seen so many people, I don't even care no more. Sir, you are basically a stay-at-home dad. You do nothing every single day. So one, y'all shouldn't even need to be getting a damn nanny because you need to be able to step up and be a more active father. But since y'all are going to go ahead and get another nanny or get a nanny, why is it that you can't even sit for two, three hours and talk to people that are going to be the person responsible for your child every single day, but you care about your child so deeply, but you want him to have help and support and everything that he needs. Uh, okay. So we do wind up seeing them confirm that they're going to hire an older lady who talks about her Southern cooking and her Southern values. And she seems very mild tempered and even keel. Se gives very much so grandma energy, very much so Medea energy, right? And I am thinking that this is all a facade or front, or this is going to be a woman who is going to be super strict, who is not going to put up with Zach and Fatima sh as it pertains to the shenanigans going on around there, the uh, unequal, well, actually, I might even say the unequal labor distribution because she might be from the old school and expect Fatima to do more, even though she's in law school and working full time. The the nanny might be the one who like, Fatima, you need to do more. And Jack, he's king, which we don't need that either. So I totally believe that she could be the nanny from hell. Initially, on first glance and first thought, I'm like, okay, cool. They got this nanny. She seems like she's going to be able to keep up with Michael. She's going to be able to care for him. Cool, cool, cool. But no, this is a drama show. This is Tyler Perry. And we are in the Sisters Universe. I believe that this is 100% going to be a nanny from hell. And she's going to particularly pull on the strings that are the most loose and the most tangled within their household, but also within the Zatima relationship. And I actually cannot wait to see it because y'all were so very rash and pulling Michael away from his mother, which she wasn't necessarily doing what she needed to do and she needed to be held accountable for that. But the fact that Zach has not been able to find any kind of empathy, any type of sympathy and or grace to figure out what does it look like for Michael to still have his mother in his life while being provided for adequately, it just doesn't sit well with me. And I don't think that the decisions that they have been making thus far are truly all about Michael and for his betterment. So much of it has been made out of their ego, unfortunately. And in doing so, Fatima, you have put yourself in a position to not only take care of one baby, Zach, but now two. And you're failing law school because of it. They're going to have a couple moments where the nanny is going to be a great relief. But I do believe that she's going to turn to be something completely different very soon into this whole arrangement. And I cannot wait to see what that actually looks like. So I'm going to say yes. This is the nanny from hell. But I'm going to the comment section right now to see what you think. Do you think that they just hired the nanny from hell? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's your good sis you love to talk TV with. And I have another sister's video that I just released right here for you. You might have missed it, but we got to talk. So click it right here. <laughs> 